um Y'all, we're not, I'm not going to be doing anything while talking to y'all. I just want to come on and do a quick chit-chat since I've been watching a lot of TV. And uh, maybe I'll put on some lipstick while I'm talking to y'all. <coughs> y'all, I wanted my skin to look like Halle Berry, Haley Berry when she was doing an interview with Oprah after Eric Benet cheated on her. I was like... And she was in her, I think she was in her 30s when that happened. When she was on that interview, when she did that interview with Oprah. I zoomed in on her skin because her skin looked like butter. It was so smooth. And oftentimes when you are fair skin, it's really hard to get that consistency smooth. You, you, have, you can see all the imperfections with lighter skin, right? Her skin looked so so beautiful there. Yeah, I was trying to look like Haley. Um, so I've been trying to be as consistent with my regimen, cutting back on certain foods. Y'all really, honestly, truly, uh, what you eat and your lifestyle definitely shows up in your skin. So I've been cutting back on eating out because we were eating out a lot when the um, Corona thing hit. We were eating out a lot. And so now when I do eat out or order in, I try to do something like salad or something like that. Anyway, y'all, enough of that. Um, that's been going on. Um, y'all, look at my nails. Now, that one looks a little, right, whatever. But look at how great my nails look, you guys. Look look at how great my nails look, you guys. You know, I gotta do a little bit better on this one. But overall, and this is just using dip powder. Now, this was a fill. But baby, it took me a good 30 minutes just to get that gel off. Because I had that bright color gel on. The um, the red color, reddish pink. It took me forever to file that off. And typically when you go to the nail salon, they use the drill. I'm going to have to buy me a drill. It took me 40 minutes just to get that. Because I put gel on top of the color powder. My sister told me not to. But I had to because it was so cute. And I did that. So... Uh, I did the same thing here, but I went lighter, so hopefully it won't be as bad. But yeah, I added a drill, a nail drill to my Amazon cart because I'm not going to be doing that every two weeks. You know, filing, 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 filing down. I think I lost some length or something. I felt like I lost some length. Maybe I went down a little bit too low when I was falling across, you know. But yeah, very cute. I did get my clear acrylic in, so I made, I made me a couple of DIY um, colors. I'm not sure how that's going to turn out, but we'll see. Um, Amazon is getting my on my nerves. Amazon changed the format of the... I bet they were like, we sick of y'all ordering shit, so we're going to confuse you. <laughs> like, we sick of y'all ordering stuff, so we're going to confuse where to find your inbox. Oh, I found it. You at the bottom. I found you. I found you, Amazon. <coughs> so, yeah. I have... I ordered, like I said, those supplements... A couple of days ago and I rushed that so it came in yesterday. Then y'all I ordered I ordered some um uh shapewear by Made in Form and I ordered two types. Let me try those on for y'all with my dress. So I decided on we decided to go out to eat. I'm still very nervous about going out to eat, even though my husband was like, Look, we get there early. Even the manager, I spoke on this briefly in my vlog. Well, I'll speak on it in my vlog. I'm gonna load this up before my vlog. I spoke to a manager at one of the restaurants we frequent out here and he told me all about what they're doing to encourage social distancing but he also said you know we're not doing too good right now and I'm like what do you mean he's like we don't have that many people coming in so that would benefit us um and he basically basically was like if you get here early on time you'll probably be the only people here I'm like even better <laughs> most of their um clientele or patrons are 60 and over whenever my husband and I go there when we first started going there eight years ago it's been um we were laughing because we were always the youngest people there I mean always and still today when we go it's a sea of gray heads gray hair everywhere but because of that, a lot of the people are not going out because they are considered high risk, that population, okay? So, speaking to the manager, speaking to my husband, I said, okay, we'll do it. We'll get a table at the far back. We'll take JB with us. JB has been here before. Y'all, JB, I'll get to JB in a minute, my poor baby. Um, he's been there before. He'll be good. So, yeah, we'll do that. Um, girl, JB Swallow. I know I'm doing this out all of order, you guys. Typically, we talk about YouTube, TV, when I'm watching the person's life. We're doing this backwards. Y'all, my baby swallowed a Lego last night. When I tell you, 
first of all, I got mad. Yeah, you know, typical, not typical, but you know, black mama get mad first when you do something, and then you get you feel sad, and then you sympathize with the baby, right? I'm like, what the? What do you mean you swallowed a Lego? Girl, I'm in the middle of watching Claws and you swallowed a Lego. So I'm like, oh my God. So I can immediately go on and see, okay, what do you do? Tried to call my husband. He was busy. So <clears throat> I told him, I said, oh, well, you gonna... Girl, what was that noise? I said, oh, well, you're gonna have to pass it. Tears started flowing. He started getting scared. He started crying. He cried. He must have cried for a good 10 minutes about that. I said, baby, you will be okay. Just show me what the Lego look like. It's one of those really small Legos. It's like, you see this makeup brush here? You see the tip? The Lego bit, the Lego is that small. So it's like the size of an eraser head, even smaller than an eraser. So I said, you'll pass it. You probably won't even feel it or whatever. But I think he's kind of, he's still scared. Poor baby. He's like, I'm anxious. Well, he said, no, he's like, I have anxiety over. I said, baby, you'll be okay. You'll be fine. If I need to give you some medicine, if your stomach hurts, let me know. Um, so yeah, he'll be okay. I just have to monitor and make sure it's fine. I said, you better be glad it wasn't a big one. Hell, I always tell him to stop putting stuff in your mouth. You know what he does with those Legos? He's biting them off. Don't do that. Because they're all together. He, If he can't take it apart, he'll bite it too. He learned, child. Um, but y'all, yeah. I know I'm all over the place. Getting my skin together. I am going to do a formal video video on the, what is it? The Good Molecules line. But y'all, I've been using all different types of stuff. I've been using Ordinary. I purchased these uh, Deep Pore Cleansers by Bior. They were on sale for like 99 cents. Um, I've been watching a young na lady named Golden or X. She's extremely knowledgeable when it comes to skincare. And so... Baby, she su she suggested that you wash your face for six for a minute straight. I'm like, a minute? Y'all know how long that is? So one of the things I do, I don't wash my face for 60 seconds, but I do cleanse for quite a bit of time. I mean, I'm in here at least 30 seconds, 30 seconds. And I, I cleanse with my hands, okay? I make sure I wash my hands first. I cleanse in my hands in a circular motion. I use a bar cleanser. I mean, I'll get it all into detail, but my skin, I'm trying to clear up the different spots, but I started, I have two lines going across. You see them? You see that one? Now watch when I do this. It disappears. Going across here. I know y'all like, we don't see shit, but I do. Okay? So anyway, that would be a separate video coming next. You're so all right, y'all, sorry about that. He woke up this morning with a bunch of whelps all over his body, like mosquito bites, and they were, they're huge, because he's a small body. There's about half a dozen of them, about four or five, and so I've been putting some ointment on it. Um, I gave him Benadryl earlier this morning to, so to help kind of with the itching, but he's still complaining, so I'll put just put some ointment on it. So anyway, y'all, um, so that's what's going on with personal stuff, personal life. Um, like I mentioned, well, I will be mentioning in our vlog where we are officially done with school and JP's like, for now, and I know he's just seven years old. He's like, I'm okay to be homeschooling to high school. I'm like, okay, well, we'll talk about that when it, <laughs> when the time comes, but I officially let my manager know that I will be homeschooling and she's like, you know, she's an older woman. Um, her youngest child is 21 and she said you know honestly if we were going through what you guys are going through with smaller children she said i, I would homeschool too um she lives in detroit but they used to live here in the valley and y'all i she said that with her son that he was just uninterested in school she said they had problems with him some of the same things that we've been, been experiencing with jb as far as um, the school thinking that there's something wrong with him. He's slow, but we're not sure. But, uh, and then JB doesn't come off as overly eager to learn. And so it makes it seem like there's something wrong with your child when really there's nothing. And what they ended up doing was switching their child, her, her son to a different school that, that, uh, taught the same curriculum, but in a different way. And I said, girl, we don't even have time for that. We're just going to pull them out and go ahead and proceed. So, uh, I'll be talking about a little bit more of this in my vlog, but there are going to be some very interesting changes for the schools in general. And y'all, 
I am not going to be down for that, which is one of, besides the issues we were having at JB School prior to the coronavirus, it's going to be very interesting in how things are going to be. And from what I understand, it's up to the school district or the school to implement those changes. So anyway, enough of that, you guys. Ciao. Let's talk about what's in these YouTube streets. I've been looking at a lot of different videos um, for what I want my style to look like if we do decide to go out to eat for my birthday, y'all. We were planning on going to California because I will be turning 40 this year. Um, I was I was supposed to be in the middle of planning that, like this week. We were going to go to the beach, Mission Bay. Had everything planned out, going to SeaWorld. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. That's all been canceled. And I, we just decided to celebrate at home. So I will be having like a complete, to, to help me to feel better. So I'm like, you know, I have health. I have wealth, quote unquote, meaning I wealthy as far as healthy and sane, uh, sometimes mentally stable. Um, we are blessed to be, we're financially blessed. And so... I am looking at what we have as opposed to what we don't have. So what I can't go to California for my birthday. Celebrate at home. Okay. So I did reach out to y'all a couple of weeks ago through the community the community tab, excuse me, to see how those of you who are at home, how you're celebrating too. And I got a, a couple of responses. Um, so yeah. I'll be at home. So oh, I'm sorry. So one of the ways I'm gonna be, you know, trying to uplift my spirits and stuff is that <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing like a whole birthday uh videos contents on my channel so there will be a birthday giveaway lifestyle with items from wayfair i will be trying oh chow <laughs> i have stuff coming in right now and i'm gonna show you something that came in i will be attempting to flat iron my hair i am so sick and tired of searching for a video for 4c and i pull it up you clearly are not 4c now the young lady or woman or whoever are not mentioning 4c in the title but the results i'm getting back are 3c or 4a i need to see someone who has samuel l jackson's hair type that's what i need so i probably was able to find four or five young women who legit had four type hair or I'm looking for 4B, 4C. That's what I'm really looking for. Let's just be real. And just getting some advice and thick hair, okay? So, um, been looking at a lot of those videos. So, one young lady showed she had long hair and she had four type. Oh, she had a lot of hair. Child. <laughs> one young lady showed herself using a detangling comb with this attachment because what you want to do is you want to chase it. Use the chasing method, okay? Um, I'm just like, okay got that i went ahead and purchased a new flat iron titanium okay titanium is better than ceramic i do have a ceramic in there but i did see a video of nezzy naps and she blew out her hair and she flat out her hair she said it took her like six or eight hours she said she started doing her hair earlier that morning and it was like seven o'clock that's what i'm talking about anyway i, I see all that to say an attempt to flat iron my hair. I will more than likely wash, whew, child, I will wash and blow out my hair the day before. Cause there's no way, I'm, I will be too tired to blow, yeah, this is serious. <laughs> I need a drink. I will more than likely blow out and wash my hair the day before. And then the day of, I will flat iron my hair. Um, I will also probably have to do a, a quick blow out again because i'm pretty sure i'll get some because i'm doing it when it's hot now my my only saving grace is being out here in the desert it's very dry um i will be using the fantasia's heat serum um uh, and i'm going to be buying the can heat protectant spray i wasn't sure if i wanted to buy that or the design design extensions let me know y'all which which if you fly down your hair and blow out your hair what is your favorite heat protectant okay Miss Erlette, that's not you. So actually, that's a lot. She uses a serum, but she doesn't do a leave-in. She doesn't do anything. And baby, when she, she's only flat out my hair once. Now she blow, she's blown out my hair several times. But when she blew out my hair that one time, my hair was laid. And she's one of those type that can flat iron it and curl it all in once, one pass, done. It was so bad, y'all. It was so pretty. My my husband could not keep his hands. I had to take like three or four birth control pills that night. <laughs> we 
are already about 20 minutes into this. So yes, YouTube, looking at straightening hair videos. I'm also been looking at it. Yeah, I've seen this stuff about Doja Cat. I never really was a fan of Doja Cat. Um, I feel like Doja Cat is one of those biracial women who turns on, turns, turns on and turn off her blackness when it is convenient for her. She has since apologized for some of the stuff. Let me do, let me say this. I did see like two or three of those videos that she made. I didn't see anything racist about those particular videos, but for when I understand there are several other videos, I do think that the young lady has some serious self-esteem issues because she's looking for validation from complete strangers. Um, and when she can't find it and just being her no normal self, it becomes sexual. Because men, of course, if you do something sexual, you have their attention right there. So she was performing several sexual acts, you know, or emulating sexual acts on cam. And from what I understand, she's never met her father who was South African. Um, she was raised by her mother who was Jewish. Um, but yeah, I understand that she has since put out an apology. I feel like the apology was fake. I saw some bits and pieces. I didn't see all of it. It felt forced. Girl, that was a PR. That was all, I, I smelt it. Public relations all over the apology. I don't think that she would be canceled. This cancel culture, girl, please. I don't think she would be canceled because she has so many fans that are of different ethnicities, races, or whatever you want to call it. And so people would cancel her for a minute and then they would be out bumping her song, her music later on. I do find it very interesting that she all of a sudden went from like, I mean, I get it. She's been in the Ram for a while. and Wasn't she on Wild and Out for a minute? But... I don't know you guys how I feel about these celebrities and singers who go from literally basement music to now they're number one on the charts or in the top five I just don't see that working your way up model that we typically would see with 2,000 artists or, or you know people from the 90s so anyway enough of that Doja Cat that's all I see seeing a lot of that whatever um y'all let's talk about TV because I know my baby's back there let's talk about TV that girl I I'm back to watching Claws. I finished watching Claws 3. Now I'm back to watching Claws 2 because I didn't watch all of it. Now Claws 2 is the one where she hooks up with um um the 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 black guy. Is he from Sierra Leone, you guys? Or, or Libya? The black guy that played in Fat Fat Girls, the um tall Africa. Y'all, I don't think he's good looking. He looks weird to me. You know, he's fine. From the neck down, he's fine as hell yes but he's not he's not attractive to me is that possible for you to be sexy and not attractive i think he's sexy but i don't find him attractive at all so anyway back to watching season two with the crazy russians and they're not really russians is that amazon prime you ain't the amazon prime just flew back here anyway y'all so anyway back to watching that loving it finished good girls i know i said i wouldn't there was no scenes with rio and beth None. Thank you, girl, for telling me it was on Hulu because I, I got tired of paying, paying for it. There were no scenes, no smoldering, sexy thought scenes with Beth and Rio. Now, there was some chemistry still, but no real scenes, okay? So, anyway, done with that. I started to watch Sweet Magnolia on Netflix. I like it, y'all. It's good, clean, rated PG-13 show um, surrounding three friends. I think they were childhood friends in this small southern town. They want to open up a spa, and that's all I'm going to give you in case you want to watch it. I'm on episode three, and I like it. It's very sweet. Now, it's a little too sweet for me, so I have to stop watching it and watch mine, honey. <laughs> I had to stop watching it and watch Mindhunter. Y'all, my favorite genre, besides post elliptic in, into the world, which I'm not watching right now because I, I can't handle it. I like dark. I like dark thriller. Give me Black Spot. Give me Dexter. Give me some comedy mixed in that. I can take that, which is why I like I like Killing Eve. Um, so I did watch Mind Mindhunter. And oh my god, JB. You just scared the heck out of me. Give me a kissy. You can sit up there. Go get you a toy and come back in here, okay? Go get you some toys. I did watch Mindhunter, you guys. And I know a lot of people like to compare Mindhunter to True Detective. There's no comparison. None. 
true detective takes it all. And I guess for me, Mind Hunter was a little predictable. I have a dark side and I already knew about a lot of these serial killers. I mean, even before, like I would have to honestly say the first time they show the BTK killer, I already knew who he was. I, just by the way he was looking what he did, I already knew because I'm a little crazy and so I, I had that moment or I have moments where I would look up serial killers for a while and just research them and look at different documentaries or whatever to the point to when B2K came out the, the R&B group I was like why did they choose a name that's very similar to a, a serial killer so I couldn't really dig with them I'm like why do they have a name you yeah, know with a Marion and I'm like why do y'all have a name so similar to the man who I can't see it all. So y'all, I tried to watch Hollywood on Netflix. Not doing it. Too much S-E-X. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, y'all. I just, and it looks like it's good. So if you can hang with those type of scenes, like every episode, go right ahead, girl. How to get away with murder. When I tell you I cried and bawled like a baby, spoiler alert. I watched the last three episodes. Y'all, why did they do that to Frank? The finale, that was seriously one of the best finales I have ever seen. I still didn't like Michaela at the end. But, oh, child, how did y'all think about the finale? That finale was, was awesome, amazing. I had to watch it, like the ending part. Because I was like, oh my God, what is Frank doing? Frank, what do you... But his eyes, his eyes were glazed over done. And y'all, I am so sorry. I, for some reason, I kept saying that Frank plays in The Walking Dead. That's not him. That's not the actor. That guy's like 52. The actor who plays Frank is only 40-something. So anyway, yes, they killed off several people. Frank is one of them. I'm not going to tell you everybody. But, <sighs> yeah. I'll have to hold JB in a minute. He's, he's all itchy scratchy. Um, I did add blood water is it blood and water i added blood and water to my list and the five to my list and i'm gonna watch those now y'all one thing i didn't talk about and i'm really not gonna get that much into because my son is right here by me but i did hear about unfortunately um what is going on with whitney the popular youtuber natural hair youtuber natural 85 i was on facebook a couple of a couple of days ago and i saw some screenshots in an in the uh one of the hair groups that i'm in and i'm like why are y'all playing? Like, why are y'all? And so I did a little bit more research. Y'all, I cannot believe that. I can, but I can't. The audacity. The only thing I want to say is, is this. From my understand, she has been with or had been with Felipe since or known him. Was she officially with him since she was 15 years old? That's a long time. I don't know how old she is now, but that's almost, what, 20, 20 plus years? It's a long time. Um, I don't know how I feel about very young people getting together and getting serious. Because I feel like you haven't had a time to live, figure out who you are as a woman or a man. Uh, doesn't mean you got to be thoughtish. That, that's not what I'm trying to say. So now that he's not out of here, we'll go into what allegedly happened. And she did share this. Was it on Twitter, you guys, where she shared these... I don't know what they she has several posts it's like 10 of them so apparently they've been separated since 2019 they went to therapy did what they're supposed to do as a couple uh and let me say this i am all for marriage i'm all for love i believe in rekindling even when you broke up even when you have divorced i respect the the covenants of a marriage is that a word i respect it i you know but i will say this if you are unhappy if you are being abused, if someone is draining you, soul sucking, so, you know, you have every means to, to divorce. And biblically sounding, or if we want to go there, this is one of those reasons why. Because apparently he cheated on her. Girl, and he cheated with her, on her, with one of her subscribers. Well, I read that, I was like, what in the... <laughs> I wish my husband would. You know what? Do you know how hot fish oil can get you? <laughs> <laughs> okay in all seriousness um i wanted to add this bit of information you guys because apparently felipe has came out on instagram live which he has since removed to state that he never cheated on whitney now i'm not sure what his definition of cheating is however whether it is emotional or physical cheating whitney felt like she was cheated on another thing that i'm kind of 
kind of getting that or, or a feeling I'm grasping from Felipe is that he comes off as very toxic and narcissistic because it seems like he's been shifting the blame on Whitney. Um, but you guys, at the end of the day, again, this is all my opinion. At the end of the day, we have no idea what happened behind closed doors. We have no idea what happened in their marriage. I just hope that they can get through this for the sake of their children and that Whitney can find some peace at the end. With a subscriber? So he had been in several different subscribers message box boxes, you know, DMing these women, her followers, her subscribers or whatever. Cause she has a lot of people who follow her y'all. She has a, what, a million subscribers on YouTube. So I have a feeling that this is probably, again, this is my opinion. This is not factual. Let's get that out. I'm not trying to be sued. Let's get that out there. I have a feeling that this is probably not the first time. And what I was trying to say earlier is that I really do think it's important for young people to not necessarily find themselves, but to be out in the world a little bit before you get serious in a relationship. Because how many adults do we know, grown ass adults who have experience, still fail at marriages and all this? I think that's a little too young. You know, to be with someone since you were 15, and this is coming from someone who's been, I've been with my husband off and on since I was 20, 20 or 21, but we broke up. We didn't even get serious until these last 10 years, um, girl. And we went through a lot, but we weren't married. I had the opportunity, opportunity, my, my, uh, the person I was with before my husband proposed to me and I was at that time, I was barely eight. I was like 17, 18. Even my young mind at that age, I was like, no, I'm not going to get married at a teenager. Basically. No, I, I love you. And I loved him. I really did, but I wasn't trying to get married. Um, I know that Whitney has spoken on this several times, but I, I think that she suffers from self-esteem and I can only imagine what this did to her. Uh, I believe she was, was she bullied in high school too, you guys? Um, it's just sad, it's a sad situation. And like I said, I am all for marriage, I'm all for love and rekindling that love. But I feel like, you know, if, it, if it's something like this where it is a loss of trust and you have tried go through your divorce and just, you know, try to be at peace with it. Um, she had wrote in one of the screenshots I saw that they did try to seek counsel, seek counseling, but it's so hard to rebuild that trust you guys, especially if it's something that has happened more than once. Again, no one has said it's had, but I just have an inkling feeling that it has happened more than once. Um, it's just really sad. I feel really bad for her children too. I don't watch her vlogs even when they were very active. I didn't watch them as much as her hair videos. Um, girl, but a subscriber? And I think she saw one of the posts, it said is a subscriber who loved, a subscriber who loved me. Girl, how did you know she loved, I mean, I guess it's, you know, someone who really loved her content, you know, one of those top, I don't know. I wish my, this is why, again, I've said this repeatedly, and I know that Whitney and them, they had their vlogs up before people really started having their husbands on social media. Never on my channel, ever. I think that if your channel, you do whatever you want to do, baby. But I think that if your channel is hair related, I mean, if you if you have a family, you know, uh, channel, that's different. But just to bring my husband on and to just do, my husband does my makeup. My husband rates my clothes. I'm well, for I'm still fat. No, we're not doing that. Okay, not not on. Not on this channel. We're not doing that. Um, keep your husbands off your channel, y'all. Keep your husbands out of your, keep your family a little bit separated from, if you have a business like this. And this is why I absolutely admire, what's the young lady's name? Prior, uh, Pearl, girl, the name's again for P. She's not, is she Nigerian? Child, she showed up with a whole baby. Her baby was like, <laughs> her baby was like eight months old. She did some Beyonce. She just showed up with a whole baby. She was married and was like, look at my outfit. And oh, by the way, here's my baby and my family. Then she did it again with her second baby. That's what I'm talking talking about, y'all. Keep it separate. Don't keep everything, don't put everything out there in the open. I mean, I, I admire people who can who can do that. You stay focused. You don't have to worry about anybody. But let's just be real. If the man wants to cheat, he doesn't need to be on social media to cheat too. I'm just saying, you know. 
something very sim similar happened to uh, what is her name? Mommy Tang. She's a mukbanger. And I told y'all once before, she showed, as soon as she showed her husband, and she had mentioned several times because she did she did like a four part story time and she's an older woman i think mommy tang not older but youtube age she is she's 42 43. she did a four part story time and she's really good at telling stories on how she met her husband and she admitted that he was a player he was a playboy back in the day but she met him while in college and he chose her apparently right well as soon as she showed him and she she started easing up the almost there was this how do i say it um mystery to who who he was because she would sometimes she would show a shoulder she would just show a profile so you never really saw him child as soon as she showed that man he's fine oh yeah he's fine as soon as she showed him i was like oh <laughs> these young girls started getting his dms and that's what happened to them they are divorced she finally announced that they've been divorced for a while for what i understand whitney is not divorced they are separated but they are working on on the divorce um right now so that is really sad i hate i hate that that happened y'all um marriage is not easy my husband and i make it work um like i said he gets on my nerves a lot and that's the thing too i think that a lot of younger people who get into a marriage it's a roller coaster you have your right those of you who've been married 10 plus years right it's a roller coaster it goes up and down up and down and right now we're okay i like him today but tomorrow he may get on my damn nerves he may do something and just flip me off it's difficult not everybody can do it but keep god first you know pray over your spouse and i think all things is possible i what i find funny though sometimes because i told you why i mentioned that you know i think that younger people should date not again that doesn't mean going out and uh making it clap for everybody i mean you can make it clap but not go ahead and go <laughs> you don't have to have sex with everyone i don't think that is that is very irresponsible i do believe in soul ties and y'all it has been science and we ain't gonna even go there but it has been scientifically proven that energy especially if you're not using protection there is some transferring of not just bodily fluids but of energy when you have sex with someone okay this is how soul ties are developed so i think it's okay baby hold on it's very important that you don't go out and make it clap for everyone so that is it you guys i hate that i'm ending it on a somber note like that but i'm uh, praying for them i really am and hoping that they can get through this so all right you guys take care